Hi students, welcome, welcome back students. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you are going to create an abstract background using your pen curvature tool as well as your shapes. So the first thing we need to establish is our background. So you want to go ahead and go under your adjustment and we are going to click on our gradient. You want to go ahead and click on gradient, go into your purple, and we are going to stick with something like this, but we want to click on the stop, color stop, and change this purple to a more of a bluish color like that, a deeper blue. And I'm going to go ahead to basically click OK. Now we want to take our blue and hold down options click on it once it creates another copy and we are going to set it somewhere here and i'm going to go ahead to click ok now we want to change the angle of this we want to go ahead and increase our scale so we basically end up with something like this so i'm going to go ahead to click ok now the first thing that we want to do is to create one single shape that we are going to duplicate and just play with the, with it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my pen and I'm going to choose the curvature pen tool, which is the third one. And I'm going to make up a shape. So you can make up the same shape if you want, or you can create your own unique shape. And I'm going to go ahead to basically move this out so we have something like that so with our shape all set up you want to make sure that you go to your menu above make sure that you don't have path but you have shape turned on now we want to go ahead and add a gradient effect to this shape so click on your fill choose the gradient now we can go ahead and choose something like a two-tone in the purple and the blue and notice that I'm using that a lot so let's say we have these two tones we can click even on the color and maybe choose something more deeper or more brighter if we want and I'm going to go ahead hold down option hold down option and I'm going to create another one which will set in the middle like that double click on it and we are going to choose more of a blue like that and then click OK. The one on the end, we're going to choose more of a cyan. So we have something like this. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to move this a little bit closer and the purple should come more like that. Now you notice that we can basically change up the angle to whichever way we want. I'm going to go ahead and basically come out of this notice that it had a white outline we don't want that so go back click on your path selection tool it will activate your menu click on the stroke we want to make sure you check the rectangle with the line to basically take off that outline i'm going to go ahead and set this somewhere here and i'm going to go ahead and scale it so we have something like this I'm going to make a copy, Command J, make a copy, and I'm going to set that somewhere here like that. I'm going to scale it bigger, double click, and then, or even set it somewhere here. I'm going to make another copy, Command J, move that and set that somewhere here, and make another copy, Command J, and I'm going to set that here. And this time we are going to reduce the opacity so we have something like this and i'm going to go ahead and just change the direction double click to accept now if you don't want this on top you can put it on the bottom so click on this image now move this image to the bottom so that it is not on top of the other shapes but actually beneath the other shapes so i'm going to make another copy command j and I'm going to set another one here and this one I'm just going to reduce it and make it very small like that and double click to accept so these are the shapes that we have so far I want to go ahead and create 
linear lines of this shape that we are going to use. So the easiest way to do this is to first of all start by creating your lines. So go under your shape and pick the line tool and we are just going to hold down our shift so we can draw a straight line and we are going to make sure that we change the stroke thickness to let's say about a three so if we on select we can see that it's there but it's not too much now in our layers panel we're going to move this layer to the very top and now we want to make duplicates of this layer so command J make a copy I'm going to go ahead and zoom in I'm going to select and set that right there and I'm going to hold down shift select both layers command J make a copy and we are going to move both layers out I'm going to select all three all four command J make a copy and with my move tool we are going to move all of the three out go ahead and match all of these layers. So click on the top line, hold down shift, click on the last line, right click, and we are going to convert this into an object. Now we are going to make duplicates of this command J and we are basically going to move these. So we are just creating multiples of these that we are going to use. I'm going to go ahead, right click and match these two. And I'm going to go ahead and move that and set that on the bottom. We're going to move this up so it aligns. Zoom out. And lastly, select both, right click and basically convert it into a shape. So now that we have this line design, we are going to use it to create our shape. So I'm going to make a copy, command J. I'm going to turn one of this off. Now I'm going to grab the shape. I'm going to make a copy, command J. I'm going to set that here and rotate and scale it down so it fits inside my shape inside the line so I have something like this and I'm going to do it like that okay so with this in place what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and make a selection of the shape so you want to hold down your options click on the thumbnail to make a selection now go to the layer and add a layer max so when you add a layer max, basically it chops off everything around it and basically hides it. So if you right click, you notice you cannot apply the layer max. So we are going to right click on our layer and convert it one more time to a smart object that we have. We can set it anywhere we want. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and I'm going to go ahead and move the other shape and set it somewhere here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it like that, make it smaller and set that somewhere here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a copy. So click on this command J, make a copy. Now we need to turn off the bottom. We need to lock it and I need to click on this and command T to activate it. And I'm going to move it and set that somewhere here so we have something like this so it's just overlapping items now we can even reduce the opacity of this one so it's not too much so we have it but it's still very minimal and I'm going to go ahead and click on this one we're gonna make one more copy command J and Control T to activate the move. If you're having difficulties in moving your image or your lines, that's what you have to do. You have to activate your transform, which allows it to move easily. I'm going to set this right there. So with all of this in place, we want to go ahead and also add something else that will make our background pop. So I'm going to add a shadow. So I'm going to click on my image. 
I'm gonna go ahead and unlock all of my images click on this shape double click on it it brings up the layer style we're gonna add a drop shadow click on the drop shadow and then basically reduce it so it's not too much and I'm going to take the opacity back a little so it's a lighter shadow now we want to go ahead and also add an inner glow so click on your inner glow if it's not white set that to white and you can basically increase your you can basically go ahead and increase your opacity so you can see the glow effect if it's too much you can basically take it back and we are going to go ahead to click OK so now you see that it's beginning to create almost like um, a form um, with depth so we want to apply the same effect to the other shape so we are going to click on the shape and we will copy we'll basically copy the effect on that to the other shape so right click copy layer style now we can go and click on any of the shapes that we want to paste it on and basically it will apply to it now we don't have to do it for all of the shape I can click on the shape right click and basically paste this same effect so we have something like this but you don't always have to so I'm gonna just go back so we have something very basic over there so with this set now we want to go ahead and add in a little bit more shapes to basically create a nice effect pick up my uh, shape I'm gonna pick the rectangle and I'm gonna go ahead and draw just a line a rectangle like this and I'm going to go under my property and we'll change the pixel to 10 so it's a little bit thicker we'll make it 15 I'm gonna click OK and we are going to scale it and basically scale it a little bit more and set that right there so with this in place we can even go ahead and move this so it's centered in the middle now we want to go ahead and add in some shapes so I'm going to go back to my shape and I'm going to choose the rectangle and I'm just going to go ahead holding down my shift I'm going to draw that I'm going to zoom in so we can see and I'm going to come out of it so you can see how it looks like now we're going to make a copy command J and I'm just going to move that down now sometimes it won't be easy to move it because you have so many different layers command J so you might have to use your down arrow I'm going to go ahead to the top select all of the rectangle and I'm going to go ahead to link everything so click on the link layer we're going to make a copy command J and I'm going to go ahead to basically I need to lock this first so lock some of your background so your shapes don't move with that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and move this and set this somewhere here set this somewhere here like that I can select all of my shape right click and maybe just convert this one into smart object so we have one file command J make a copy and we are going to move that and maybe make that smaller enter like that and we are going to go back and click on this make a copy command J and we are going to go ahead and set that somewhere here so we have something like this now we can even go a step further and add in some other eclipse shape so click on your eclipse and hold down shift make a circle make sure your stroke effect maybe is at a five now we can make a smaller circle here now this one we can fill this in with a solid color and maybe come back here create a circle make sure we take out the end and just have the outside and maybe another one here and maybe another one here so you can basically create some random shapes 
and it will make your design very pleasing and nice. So with all of this in place, we can basically go ahead and add in the word abstract background. So let's click on our type tool and I'm going to go ahead to type in abstract. So with this all set, I'm going to move this in the middle, double click on this, change the style to bold and go in your property and basically increase the font. Now we want to highlight the bottom and we want to decrease the font like that. Now we want to select both, go under your A over A so we can close the gaps a little. Now pick your move tool and we can basically scale this up a little, abstract, reduce it, center it like that. Now we can go ahead and even add another shape if we want. So I'm going to go back to my shapes. I'm going to pick a line and I'm just going to do this line like that. Go under my stroke and we are going to increase our stroke to about a five. Click OK and I'm going to zoom in to that. We are going to click on that shape add a layer max now with my brush i'm going to flip my foreground to black and i'm going to go ahead and basically create this sort of line effect now i'm going to go ahead and pick this line make a copy command j and i'm going to move that and set that somewhere here i'm going to zoom out make another copy command j I'm going to move that and set that somewhere here. Command J, make another one, set that right there. Command J, make another one, and maybe set that right there. So we have something like this. So the creativity is endless. You can do anything that you want. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little shape. So students, this brings us to the end of this fun abstract background. I hope you enjoyed this. So I would like you to recreate your version of this. It doesn't have to be the exact same one, but whatever you're able to come up with, you can share with us in the discussion board. Just post your assignment and I can take a look at it and also give you some feedback. So with this set, we are going to move on to the next lesson. So come along with me.